Why is it that that statin seemed to slightly increase one's risk of type 2 diabetes? Well, there's many, they induce insulin resistance in certain people. Interesting, the data, the more and more they analyze this, uh, it seems to be they're most apt to induce insulin resistance if you're already got subclinical insulin resistance and you're on the way to being a type 2 diabetic. So maybe you have prediabetes or your glucose is 99. And when it's 100, you have prediabetes. They tend to be overweight patients with abdominal girth. And that's the one that a statin is most likely to escalate glucose above 100. Now you're pre-diabetic or above 126. Now you're diabetic. It doesn't make your sugar go to 340 and you're going to be in diabetic coma. Statins don't do that. You are monitoring everybody. You prescribe a statin and you will look at the glucose escalation excavation. And if it goes high, we have many ways of reducing that with better lifestyle or a slew of anti-glycemic drugs that are widely used. And some of those have cardiovascular outcome data right now. So the ADA strongly recommends that all diabetics over the age of 40 be on a statin, almost regardless of what your LDL cholesterol and ApoB is. And they know that, hey, it's going to rig, screw up glucose in a few people. But the ADA has got six chapters on how to lower glucose if that goes <laughs> up to. So it's really not a worry. You, you, a doctor is aware of it. He will monitor that. Tragically, people go online and they read that if you take a statin, it's going to give you diabetes. Everybody who hears diabetes thinks they're going to be blind and on dialysis next week if they get diabetes, which is not the case. Easily manageable disease. So that is never a reason not to use a statin that you might develop diabetes. If it does happen, you could stop the statin and try something else, or you could <clears throat> take care of the diabetes with metformin or all the other GLP-1 receptor agonists, all the fabulous drugs we have nowadays to treat glycemic-related complications. Yeah, I came across a, a study, I can't remember who tweeted it, um, the other day that was speaking to the number of people in the USA who are not taking statins that should be or would qualify to based on their risk factors. And I think it was it was about 50% of people with established uh, atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease were not taking them in this population of about 600,000 people. And one of the major reasons was for fear of side effects. Listen, and I retweeted that and I put this as a national tragedy and I blamed it on two people. One is patients. We discussed yesterday, you better be your own advocate if you have various diseases and you ought to do serious reading about diabetes and the morbidity mortality with it. And then you better do reading on the uh, drugs you're using it. But I think the real culprits are doctors either are ignorant or they don't want to get into hassle. Here, I'll give you a stand. And then they're going to, their patient's going to come in with six things out of their internet that why a statin is going to kill them. So doctors are shamefully nowhere near as aggressive on inducing lipid modulating therapy where the aid demands basically saying it's malpractice not to be on a statin if you're a diabetic or pre-diabetic. So it is a tragedy, but that is the reality of it. And uh, therefore, we're never going to wipe out atherosclerosis in the population anytime soon. Uh, my goodness. But uh, that's the reality we live in. The toughest thing is to convince a pe person nowadays to take a, a drug. And it's even worse after this COVID junk that went down for years. People are afraid of anything medicinal. They don't believe anything doctors say anymore through all the nitwit idiotic stuff that's on the internet, scaring them away from super proven drugs. I would bet in the history of the world, maybe only second antibiotics, statins have saved more lives in more people. And, and certainly where you're just looking at chronic diseases, not even close. Mm -hmm.